Okay, what we have here is a 2006 Golf TDI with the 5-speed transmission. Um, it's got uh, 298, 287 kilometers. Um, I thought we had a injector problem, but at the end, uh, it was a faulty camshaft on the cylinder number four, on the uh, one of the uh, the intake valve on the cylinder number four. And uh, previously, I was looking at the injection uh, deviation of the injectors. Uh, as we can see here, um, the, see the temperature is at 60, 65 degrees Celsius, but uh, the injection uh, deviation on the one, two, three, and four, they're pretty close to each other. Before, the number four was at, like at two, and the other ones were more off than that. I have a previous video of that showing that. Uh, I had uh, did a compression test on this uh, vehicle and the compression was okay. So it just means that if if you have a compression, a good compression doesn't mean that you don't have a camshaft that is worn out. Right now it's running. I'll do an oil change on it. New oil, new filter. And uh, with the correct oil, the correct oil on this vehicle is 50501, but uh, what I'm going to put into it is the 504, 507, the new spec, like for the common rails. Um, so it seems to be running fine. Uh, this is the uh, camshaft I remove out of it. This is the camshaft here. You can tell that this lobe here is quite worn out. See that profile? And then the profile of the other lobe. So it's uh, quite worn out and the uh, bearing shells, they were worn out too. And the lifters, this is the, the intake lifter on the number four and that's all the uh, other lifters. They were not that bad but mainly one of them was defective and the car would kind of miss, it would not work properly but it would not throw any codes uh, as far as uh, misfires or nothing like that.